that should be audio. Yes, okay. Ish. Right, well, that's doing that. And that. All right, T. All right, T. Um, oh, I also wanted to fix that. Um, where's the little thingy? There it is. Hide. There we go. There. That should keep us from dropping any froms. Okay, now... Where are we? We are... Salt Lake City. Alright, well, let's grab some... So we got the externals. What do we have out here in external? Uh, we're not going to do weight today. We're going to do price. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe we'll do weight. There we go. Flipper to the end. Let's see if we can go Salt Lake to Logan. Yeah. Actually, I do want to do distance. Got length. That'll make it easier. All right, so. Hey, Ali, how's it going? Well, this is perfect. It's all like the Ogden from Coastal Mining. Well, let's roll with that. It's not going to get us a lot of money, but it at least gets us rolling. <laughs> Mini me. Yeah, me too, actually. I'm I actually more pumped for Colorado just because that's where I am, but it will be nice to have more states I want to see. Um, hold on. I got to turn down the game audio because my truck engine is way louder than I thought it was going to be today. There we go. Um, I'm interested to see how they're going to handle something like Wyoming. In Montana, well, Montana more than Wyoming, because Montana is huge, but there's nothing there but cows. Are they going to, like, bundle Montana and Wyoming? Because that, in my mind, makes sense. Kansas, where it's just flat, right? Exactly. Now I've done put something in front of the chat, so I have trouble reading the chat. There we go. Yeah, Kansas is it totally needs to be like included with Nebraska and Oklahoma. It's all pretty much the same. But I do want to see what would be really cool is if they um if they do stuff like hauls out of um uh the National Nuclear Lab in Idaho or something, like give us some some high value rare cargo that would be really cool otherwise it's all going to be just potatoes I mean really there's nothing else in Idaho the like potatoes it's not true I've been there don't be offended if you're from Idaho yeah one day they'll get there it's gonna be a long long slog for them to get um... hey found the Volvo dealer to get all 50 states the year 2030 <laughs> yeah I want to know if they're going to do like ATS and then kind of change it to NATS and include Canada so we can get Alaska in there or if they're going to do Alaska as a separate thing because you really need a separate kind of truck to run Alaska Hawaii would just be boring. You drive like five feet, stop and unload. Oh, Canada would be amazing. 
Especially if, you, if they if they even went as far as putting stuff like ice roads in or something like that. Rare delivery. That would mean they would have to add seasons into their game. Eh, I can see that being problematic. Where's my trailer? Over there. Where be it? It be over here. What is it facing that way for? Really? Alright, well, whatevs, I guess. I do not understand your yard, coastal mining. People would pay good money. I mean, I'd even be willing, if they did it right, I'd be willing to pay, you know, 15 bucks for a Seasons mod that does it proper. You know, a good randomized snow and, you know, stuff like that. How am I getting out of here? I'm definitely not going back that way, I'll tell you what. Or that way. Okay, we must be going this way. The other thing they could do is add in trucks like that. That dumper there? That'd be kind of fun. Every once in a while, just drive a uh, what is that, Class B? Be a good starting, like a good starting truck, a good Class B rig. Alright, we're just going to make the quick run to Ogden. We're basically checking off the, the cities in Utah. Got to finish those before we go to Idaho, Colorado. I did finally put a mod on here to increase traffic. Probably going to bite me in the butt, but we're going to try it. Anyone who was with me for the uh, stream last week, we were in Vernal, Utah. But I grabbed a uh, triple to get us to Salt Lake City. Retro trucks would definitely rock out, but... I could see it being a serious um, struggle to get manufacturer support for some of those rigs. Maybe do a... That one might be worthy of... Uh, that four-wheeler is just climbing up the back end of my trailer. Um, like, that would be worthy of a... Of, like, a special DLC. Or... Maybe even a special game that could use the same engine, but do do like everything in like the fifties. Then maybe the manufacturers would be more on board if everything was sort of located in the proper time. Maybe. Nope, not that turn. <laughs> uh, yeah, wouldn't it be cool to, to, to roll in the 40s with the, or the 50s with some of those old rigs and then all the cars around you are in the same era? Your loads would be sized accordingly. Too far. 27 miles? Really? 44 minutes to go 27 miles. Alright, whatever. Ogden is right on top of Salt Lake, so that makes sense. Stayed in North Ogden once for a trip. I'd like a... It was in the 2000s, but I swear the hotel was straight out of the 1970s. It's like shade carpet and stuff. I saw that Mustang. You almost rear-ended somebody. Mustang's got a Mustang. Alright. Back on the highway. How is everybody on this Tuesday, by the way? 
Tuesday, the day before the middle of the week for most people. <laughs> uh, crud, where am I going? 80 north, okay. South, north, whoa, wait a minute, Ogden, this way. Crud. That was almost really bad. <laughs> we almost took a little jaunt down the South Utah. A PS4 ad. One of the mods is actually working. Ah. Uh, I loaded up an ad that changes all the advertisements to be more realistic. We'll see. We'll see. Oop. We also need to actually drive on the road. <clears throat> and then I added in a um, traffic density mod. And then one other which we might look at. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, we're exiting right here. Okay. First day back at work tomorrow. Oh. Driving some equipment to the Isle of Wight. Well, just make sure you don't turn left. You won't get there. Wah, wah, wah. Go ahead, admit you face palmed. Oop, stoppy, stoppy. Oh, stoppy. Ooh, someone's driving themselves. Oh, two Super WRX STIs. My guess is one of them is going to flip over, and the other one's going to have a fart can muffler that'll explode partway through accelerating. Oh wait, that's not a Subaru WRX. Never mind, they weren't going to race. That's a Chevy Volt. The life of high-speed test driver being used as a delivery boy. Ah, well, I mean, it's, it's better than at least you're driving a car or truck. I mean, it could be worse. I could give you a bike or a roller skates and a dog. <clears throat> Though that would be interesting if they gave you roller skates and a dog and said, here, figure it out. <laughs> okay, this is a strange intersection. Man, I'm glad that I don't have to make a right turn here because that would be just... I saw that bus stop and I thought I needed to go. Why is that bus stopped? Oh, he must have been picking somebody up. Okay. Okay. My turn? My turn. That truck. Hey there, trucker. It's not like you actually need to turn. You're driving a Dodge. I'm trying to swing wide. Oop. Uh, what's going on? I'm really confused by my GPS. Oh, because they're overlaying each other. Okay, next turn. Okay. <clears throat> I got it. I understand now. If I uh, <clears throat> start sounding hoarse at some point, it's because I've spent three and a half hours today training clients talking incessantly for three and a half hours. Oop, that's a turn sign. Not our go. Sorry. Ooh, steering wheel. Why do I have an air problem? Does that make any sense? I shouldn't have an air problem. I've been sitting here idling. Alright, here is our turn. I'm not going to fit in this turn lane. Alright. Well, sorry car. 
Hope you made it. Good job. Good job. You got caught by the red light. Sorry. Life of the city driver here, I guess. Good grief, come on. <laughs> now I really do feel like I'm driving in the city. Come on, light, turn. Steering wheel, stop being weird. I got space? Yeah, I got space. Nice little inner city delivery. Train station? Oh, we're delivering to the train station. Okay, got it. Was it the last time I was in Utah? Well, I drove through Utah not too long ago, but last time I spent any real time in Utah, I went to the Golden Spike Memorial National Monument, I think. It's pretty cool. Hey, Sussex. So I got to go to the Golden Spike thing. Nope, nope, not there. Wait. Where am I going? Okay, it seems to indicate I'm going to go in over here. So I went to where they um, put in the golden spike on the transcontinental. It was a pretty cool little little diversion from driving. All right, where am I? Oh, there's my parking spot. I couldn't even see it for a second. Whoa. Whoa, Bessie. Whoa, Bessie. Wow. Brakes on. <laughs> that was a lot rougher than it needed to be, that spot. Some like it salty. Oh, okay, I got it. All right, let's um, see what else we can do here. Pick up something out of Ogden, maybe. Um, I don't want to go too far. I want to pick up as many little, like, quick jobs as possible, I guess. Ogden to Provo. Eh. Ogden to Logan. Well, that would get us Ogden, because we'd go into town and Logan, which be good. Then we just need Price and Salina and we'd be done with all the cities in Utah. Yeah, let's do that one. Then we'll think about getting a trailer. Our own personal trailer. We will call him Jeff. We will feed him and water him. And give him sweets. And it will be good grief. <laughs> I think they might have exaggerated the uh, bump from those. Just a little bit. Going over here. I think I can get out over here. Yep. Good lord. Ow. Oh, that's the out. Oh, for goodness sakes. Oh, they're both outs. Derp. Sussex, I saw you playing ETS. Where are you driving around? Alright, we gotta go find wherever this place is. I can't believe it hasn't given us... Ogden yet. Don't you dare. I saw you. You thought about it. I mean, we're kind of like in downtown Ogden, but it hasn't told us we've found Ogden yet. All right, are you going? Because if you're not going, I'm going next to you. And Yeah, you're not going. All right. Well, 
Hold on, truck, come on. Hurry up. I don't trust that you're not gonna come flying into my lane. We're basically driving back to Salt Lake City to pick up a trip. Okay. You're working away from Carlisle to Italy, dropping loads on the way. Going to Lille. Oh, okay. At least you're, you've got a goal. You're like, I'm certain going. Just going to make money on my way. Here, we're just, you know, wandering. There's probably a country song in that. I'm just saying. Needed to the WT event. Oh yes, the uh, the build a bridge out of diggers event. That is that is a very important event to do. You'll probably luck out. You'll instead be building the bridge out of metal beams or something. World of diggers. Yep, exactly. City driving, city driving. This is why I kind of think if if SCS would let us drive box vans, they'd have to model the cities better though. But still, it'd be a good starting, you know. You start out driving box vans and work your way up. See if you could hot rod a uh, box van. <laughs> I'm sure people can. Oh my goodness, I think we're going to go buy a coffee place here, people. Oh my gosh, I got to make this turn. <laughs> Is that a coffee place? Is that really a coffee place? Fast food. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, Doss makes great coffee, but... Every once in a while, you just want to go to a coffee cafe, and you can't sad. I was going to build your ATS profile. Yeah. Hamburgers, 99 cents. Wait a minute. Where are we? Have we gone back in time? Or is it just made out of Taco Bell meat? In which case, 99 cents is probably too much for that hamburger. You ran your foot over with a trolley. Don't put your foot on the trolley track. I mean, it's kind of there and the trolley goes by on the trolley track. Never pull a fully loaded cart towards you when wearing sliders. Oh, I mean, I know. Dude, ambulance, you're in the way. Dude, move. Get. All right, fine. If you're so insistent, I'll go, but you're an idiot. Overly helpful ambulance driver. I was trying to think of a joke for wearing sliders, but I just can't come with it. I mean, sliders are small hamburgers over here, so really you would be walking on a bunch of hamburgers. I'd eat them, but the joke has fallen flat by now. Uh, 
steering wheel. Stop it. <laughs> go! My turn, go! Go turn! No? Oh, alright, we'll sit here. Wow. Aha! <laughs> Yes, sandals, I'm assuming, is what you're, uh, what you were wearing. Or flip-flops. Or flops. I think it's very regionalized, personally. Alright, do I go in there to get my trailer? No, I must have to go around. Sell goods. All right, let's get in here and guide our trailer and get out. Oh, ooh, I want to drive that truck. Wait a minute. Woo! They need to let us drive those those little trucks. I saw a um, uh, a it was a marketing piece for the company that makes those things. They're actually really really cool. The way the um. The fifth wheel plate lifts and drops in order to meet the different height of the trailer, so they don't really, they never have to, um, they never have to, I don't know why I'm looking out the back window, that's just dumb. Um, <clears throat> they never have to um, raise the landing gear on the trailers because they just lift the whole unit up. Kind of cool. Right, get ourselves hooked up here. Raise our landing gear and get on out of here. Get on out of here. We're gonna go a whole 32 miles and hopefully find two towns. We're just doing a bunch of short haul work apparently. We'll grab a long haul load here in a minute. Not sure you've ever seen one of those in the UK. Ah. I know they're pretty prevalent over here because then the um, the truckers can uh, drop off in a convenient location and then they can just pick them and shunt them however they need to. Makes it easier for delivery and then there's less chance of a a young trucker making a mistake. Yeah, probably right, Sussex. The big hubs would probably be the place to see all that stuff. I was watching a um a video from uh, Plaza Towing, like this, people just not knowing how to operate their trucks getting stuck, and I was just like, oh my good grief. Even I know where the, the um, power divider is on a truck, <laughs> mainly because I've driven so many of these ones, and then they're actually modeled after real trucks, so. Oh, good grief, it's rush hour, people. It's 8 a.m. rush hour. Wow. Well, we're not even going to try to get out in that. Because we got to immediately make a left, so... Oh, wait, maybe I can make it here? I don't know, we can do it now. Oh, of course we can, because we get the green light now. Derp. So, think about what kind of trailer should we buy? I'm thinking a, something like a dry goods van. Oh my goodness, I went into a turn lane that's not a turn lane. Seriously? 
That's what those lanes are for in America. Come on now, those are turn lanes. Ay ay ay. Sorry. Um, should we get a dry goods van, a, ref a reefer van, uh, a refri uh, insulated van? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, well, I mean, that's a thing. It's, that's totally a thing, and it's happening. Okay. Alright, well, um, apparently in Utah they have anti-gravity pods on their signs. <laughs> Alright, well, there goes Wolfman driving his bus again. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Wolfman, oh, I don't know what the numbers after his name are. <laughs> Seven four nine oh seven five nine seven nine four whatever. He's been playing um, bus simulator seven five nine. Thank you, Sussex. <laughs> He's been playing bus simulator, and uh, apparently his bus line is doing well. I knew it had a seven, a five, and a nine, or I pretended like I knew that. <laughs> Okay, do I get in the left lane now, or do I wait? Yes, now. Oh gosh! Oh, we just ran that light, guys. Hold on. That was really confusing. <laughs> Alright, let's boogie before someone calls the cops on us. Yeah, that went that went really well. That was a terrible freeway entrance right there. Uh, one would think I knew how to drive, but no, apparently not. Port of entry, one mile. Pull in for an inspection. No, where? Oh, it's up here. Get off Miss Side Panel there! What are you doing? Oh my goodness, you get. These four wheelers, man. These four wheelers. Oh, only 78,000 pounds. Ain't hauling heavy tonight. can't believe that guy just stopped in the exit lane. Oh, I don't want to go there. Well, you committed yourself, dude, so you just need to get. I'm trying to think of a song that goes with our Western adventures here, but we're good. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to have to make a left somewhere up here. My goodness. Things... Whoa! Truck. Things just went insane for me for a moment there. I literally looked over at my left-hand screen to try to look out my left mirror, and that almost went very badly. I look and all I see is someone, uh, <laughs> all I see is chat and the playback of my stream and I'm like, oh god, what do I do? It's so confusing. No! West, east bound and down is out the window. Yeah, exactly. Gonna have to, maybe I should write a song. I don't know jack about writing songs, but it's basically like writing poetry, but to a beat. <laughs> maybe I should write a song for American Truck Simulator. 
I'm not saying I'm going to. I don't have I don't have Mikey and and Victoria in chat, so I don't have to worry about my words being twisted. Just you, Sussex, and meh. There are way too many um, old cars in this game. Old, you know, dated pickups and stuff. Woo. Ah, we discovered Logan. You gotta watch out for his claws. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're one of the good guys. I mean, anybody's a good guy compared to Victoria and Mikey. So really bad. So did have we decided, guys, whether we're getting a dry van, a ref insulated van, or a refrigerated van? Do I turn on my turn signal? I don't think I need to turn on my turn signal for this because there's no, there's no other option. So we're not going to turn on our turn signal. We're just going to go with this. We're in the wrong lane, mind you. Is that our light? No, that's not our light. Oh my goodness, these Utah lights are so confusing. We ran one red light already today. Or two. No, just one. Where are we? Okay, I need that lane. Oh good, that's a semi. So we can cut him off. <coughs> he understands. Oh! Wow, that was almost that was almost an accident. Yeah, that was almost an accident, but you know, we're good. We're good. Hey, we need to we need a nice picture of our truck. I mean, it's not a great picture. There might be a better one later if we buy the trailer. So the one downside to the reefer trailers I noticed is they're expensive trailers, so we're gonna have to hustle to pay for our trailer. I mean, we've got two and a bit million dollars, but still, this is a business. We gotta make our money back as quick as possible. So the reefer trailers are expensive. The regular box trailers are cheap-ish. Not as cheap as a flatbed, but cheapish. And then the insulated is that nice middle ground. But I feel like you get pretty, pretty kind of like boxed into where you can haul if you're <laughs> running a box trailer. Oh, the Las Vegas revamp? Um, yeah. I mean, anytime they do a revamp, they do a really good job. So Some of the small towns, I think, could use a little bit of TLC. Mainly because I, I avoid the major cities because I hate this driving to every stoplight. Mexican restaurant. Let's go. The Little Rose Motel. Oh. Alright, where are we going? Uh, Eddie's, huh? Okay. Where am I dropping you? No trucks allowed. Well, guess what? Wait a minute. Now I'm confused. Am I? Well, we're gonna, we're about to find out, guys. We're about to find out two things. One of which is how badly stuck can I get? Oh, that is a dag, Kermit. Kermit. Okay. Okay, we're going to have to make this turn here. We should be wide enough. We were just talking we were talking about Canada earlier in the stream like we would pay money, happy money to uh SCS for a uh official Canada, just change ATS into NATS cuz then we could also do a Mexico cuz technically Mexico is North America.
to skip. I don't want to skip the trailer park. I can do it just fine, he says, knowing very well that this is probably going to become a disaster, but whatever. All right, what? Okay, I'm running a really long trailer, aren't I? Yar. They don't need their curbs. Curbs are overrated. Oh, now I can't see that tail. Yep, I am having a problem. Uh huh. All right, we're gonna do it this way. My fallback. <laughs> I'm determined that I'm gonna park this trailer. We're just gonna do it my way now. Just basically turn this whole rig around. Because that helps me line things up. This is where you like the uh, European rigs. Don't have a nose. So we can catch our trailer, there we go. Er, look at that. Boom. Bet y'all were like, he ain't gonna make it. <laughs> okay, did we decide what we're getting for a trailer, anybody? Or should we take another load and then figure out what we do for a trailer after that? Did we discover, no, I don't want that. Did we discover Ogden? We did discover Ogden, okay. There, oh, there's a Kenworth dealer there. Ah, okay. So the only ones we haven't discovered are Price and Salina. Okay. There's a lot here that we can pick up and do some serious long hauls. Okay, so let's look at our trailers really quick. All right, I'm gonna customize the drive van here. Really? Well, whatever. Okay, so first, I probably would run a single. And thinking like a 40, eight foot rig maybe a 48 with the tandem slid to the front because you get better turning with the tandem slid to the front so if we do that then we're either at 35 grand for the dry van 55 for the insulated or 65 for the reefer Anybody got any thoughts? Oh, it, that's what it looks like behind my truck. <laughs> it looks pretty nice. I mean, eventually we'll have to upgrade the truck to something a bit bigger. You're liking the reefer? It looks pretty nice, doesn't it? I'm gonna make it look nicer in a minute, but it looks pretty nice. And I think the length is about right. If I go any longer, eh, I don't think I go any longer than I'm, I'm kind of pushing it, especially when we get the bigger rig. 48 foot is a good number, I think, because we could go all the way to 53, but I don't think so. Um, and I don't think I want to do any doubles or triples, not yet. So let's do some accessories. Um, I could put a turbo cooler on there. I don't see the reason for that. Can you can you haul goods that don't have to be chilled with the reefer? You know what? That's a really good question, Rusher. 
I don't know the answer to that. Um, we're going to put the arrow, no, painted side skirt. That painted side skirt so we can actually put our little hose in there to refuel. Um, I would hope I could if I wanted to, but... Uh, we're going to put a standard door with a wind deflector because... Turbo means it's better, right? Yeah, totally. I bet you're right, Sussex. I bet you it's not an option because game. Okay. I think this is a good good outfit on here. Now comes the most important part. The paint. And I've taken care of that in advance. Holy moly, it's a $124,000 trailer. All right, you know what? Whatever. We got money. There we go. Most important part taken care of. Gotta have the horses. Requirement for everything we run. <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool too. I mean the horses could do a, a little bit of not being stretched so far, but eh, it's okay. Alright, are we going to pull the trigger on? I think we're going to pull the trigger on this. I mean, it's a nice... It's nice. Alright, $127,000. Good grief. Alright, yeah, I want to purchase that. Uh, we're going to put it in Salt Lake City. Do you really want and store it in your garage in Salt Lake? Yep. Okay, good. Now I go to Trailer Manager. Where's my Salt Lake van? All right, and I'm gonna use that one. Yep. All right, and then we're gonna be a little cheaty and we're just gonna teleport ourselves to Salt Lake, honestly. I am selecting Salt Lake, Dad. Kermit, Kermit. Oh wait. No, I need to go Garage Manager. Derp. Salt Lake. Travel. Yar. I mean, the only thing that could make it look better is to put the same color horse scheme on the rig. But honestly, that's not going to happen because I looked at this guy's rig paint and it's only for... All right, where's my trailer? Oh, it's right around the corner. All right, parking brake off. Let's, let's get our trailer. Oh, that trailer looks sweet. We'll probably have to put, you know what, I might put the old, I might go by the older Pete. Just because I know I can get a really nice horse paint job on that. All right. That's nice looking. Let's get those off of there. We almost had a crash as I was pulling out. <laughs> Take a nice picture of that one. <clears throat> All right, let's get ourselves a load now that we've got our trailer. All right, <clears throat> we can take tire. Oh, we can haul tires. They don't need to be refrigerated, so we can totally use this as dry goods van. Nice. Um, I don't care about rail length. I want price. Tableware to Seattle. Tableware to Seattle. That's not Seattle, that's Spokane. I don't know how to read. <laughs> uh. $46,000 to run some tableware. Let's see if we can get a, stay a little bit closer to home here. <clears throat> Technically home for us is... Sacramento, I think. Uh, Gallup page. I kind of want to go... I'd love to get uh, Salina or Price. So I'm kind of looking for Salina or Price. There we go. I can take some TVs. Take some TVs. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's roll. 
I like that they thought I was I was worried about that too, Rusher. I was totally freaking out going, I'm gonna buy this reefer van and all I'll be able to haul are refrigerated goods. So I am totally stoked that they actually uh they actually allow us to run regular cargo in our reefer. The only thing that they could do to make the reefer more realistic, I think, is they should add in that I have to uh, fuel it up if I'm running cold goods. All right, we're good to go. That's probably a, uh, yeah, it's a recruiting place. Don't care. I'm not hiring drivers anyway. Oh yeah, the reefer sound when the main rig engine is stopped. That would be good too. I bet you there's a mod for that. <laughs> Usually a mod for everything. Oh, and Rusher, uh, thank you for following. I t <laughs> the activity feed was broken yesterday and didn't show anything before that. So thank you for following two days ago. <laughs> Sorry, it took me two days to tell you. <laughs> uh, the Steam Workshop is down. That would explain that error message I got. I wonder if they got uh, twitched the way Twitch got broken yesterday. Over Fortnite, people. It was over Fortnite. I read that and I was just like, that is, that is sad. I think there is a big event this week. Uh, and it'll probably spill over onto Twitch and cause chaos. But you know what? That's okay. Because in the end, we all love our games. Even if we feel Fortnite is silly. People like it, so good. <laughs> oh, I get it. Oh, because I've got the automatic on. I was, I was trying to figure out why my air kept going down, but because I've got the automatic on, <clears throat> when I release the, um, the accelerator, when I'm at a stop, the game reapplies the brakes automatically or auto magically, and uh, and that takes against my air. Been playing a lot of indie game. Oh uh, well, you know what? I anytime the indies are are favored, I am all for that. I do like some indie games. Sometimes they're a little bit whack. Craven Manor comes to mind as a little bit whack. But, you know, you can't have everything. Current choice is a game called Deep Blue. Oh, is that the, um, oh, is that the drilling game where you have to, like, manage all the little different drilling rigs and stuff? Because <clears throat> I, if so, I played that. I got so far and then I got so confused and never went any farther. I thought this pickup was in Salt Lake, but maybe it's in Ogden. It must be in Ogden. Ah, well. That's alright. We're almost there. Six miles out. Get rid of dandruff! Okay. No problem. Light's green. I thought I saw red. No, it was just a bull. No. <laughs> Horses on parade. We're going to have to make a right turn up here. Flying sign in the middle of the road again. I mean, not again. It was there the whole time, but... Oh, no. Now we have to make the right turn here. Oh, with our trailer. Okay. All right. All right. We can do this. 
Okay, not like that we can't. There's way too much turn there. <laughs> uh, that worked so badly. <laughs> Subnautica type game. Ah, okay. I mean, kind of makes sense with a name like that, but... Hmm. Well, maybe the one I played was Oil Blue or something. There's something about digging for oil. It all went terribly. Kind of like a lot of my games. Alright. Oh! That car disappeared into the nether. Nether? Nether. <laughs> Ether is what I meant to say. Woohoo! Our turn! I'm beginning to loathe city driving. Get me back on that interstate. I do need to get the um the mod that lets you uh get the real company names cuz I'm tired of looking at Walbert. <laughs> we know who you are, Walbert. We know who you are. I looked at the new Mac rigs, but Sad Panda, no worse paint jobs. Alright, where's my load? Right there. Okay. No, I don't need to skip that. Beyond Blue, ah. Where are we? Okay, we're there. Beyond Blue, okay. I do like the Blue Planet BBC documentary. I actually bought the discs because I refuse to watch it on a television. Like, normal television. Well, that didn't go exactly where I wanted it to go, but... On the bright side, I didn't hit another trailer. That's really all that matters right now. Hey, Das. Here we go. Now we got this. Now we got this. Parking brake on, stoppage the engine, and load my cargo. All right, we are loaded. I gotta look at that paint shop again. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I like the lightning and the like the storm coming in the background. A little bit of extra white around the horses that could be cleaned up, but yeah, it's nice. All right, let's get out of here. It's not a paint job brew would like because it involves horses, but you know, whatever. That's why it's on my truck, not his. All right, let's make like a baby and head out. Not like we're going super fast, only 38, but it felt a lot faster in my mind. All that shifting and noise. Kind of feeling like I want to spend the money on the bigger rig, but I think we'll save that for another time. We're going to pretend like we didn't fully see that stop sign. We're just going to cruise through it because, because. 
All right, so we learned our lesson last time that what looks like a turn lane up on River Something Road is not a turn lane on River Something Road. <clears throat> so we should not use it as a turn lane as much as it allowed us to get ahead of everybody. Whoa, what in the blazes? Yep, yep, I gotcha. Slowing down, moving over. Good grief, dude, what happened? That's unfortunate. Hey, wolf! Welcome to the, the, the insanity. <laughs> and hello, raiders. Steam, how's it going? Okay, now we got to remember this is not a turn lane, as much as I wish it was a turn lane next to us. We're going to get stuck in traffic again. Boo! City driving! Boo! I tell you, boo! Wolf, how was your stream? I saw you were playing farming sim. Ronok, how's it going? Alright, do we think we're going to make this? I don't know. After getting stuck a few times. <laughs> Day three of asking Wolf to do PZB. <laughs> and he's still refusing? Ah, oh, that's so like him. <laughs> Trailer driving done properly. Yeah. Not here, friend. Not here. Stuff got done. That's that's the best kind of stream right there, especially a farm sim stream where stuff gets done. Uh, come on, people, go! Oh, that car just cut off that classic. All right, we're gonna get in the intersection so we have priority. Ah, cool, he's gonna let us through. I will take that on any day of the week. And we can go by our ghost sign, because we all need to see a ghost sign every day. There's the ghost sign! There's no wires or anything, it's just hanging in the air. No idea what's going on, but whatever. What are you doing, woman? Move your stupid Subaru! Get! Get on! Get on here! Get on here! Get on here! There we go. All right, we are on the road to price. People in virtual America don't know how to drive, kind of like real life. You're right, Rusher. Very much like real life, though. Thankfully. With the uh, the pandemic, I haven't been driving much at all, so I really enjoyed that. A little bit of driving here and there. Ran up the Cheyenne one one weekend with the truck. One visit to the hardware store to get a lot of stuff. Other than that, not much driving. And loving it. What's up? Bob's Corn Pumpkin Farm? Wait a minute. Bob's Corn is at the pumpkin farm? Oh, I'm very confused now. Why is the pumpkin farm growing corn? And who is Bob? And what does he have to do with the corn? I have so many questions. So few answers. All right, we gotta make it through the spaghetti junction up here, and then we'll be on our way. Uh, Las Vegas, Lost Wages, and Cheyenne. They canceled the Cheyenne Frontiers Day show. Whoops, it's the Cheyenne Frontiers Day show this year, which is sad because now that means the big steam trains won't be running from Denver to Cheyenne. 
so I can't go and watch them go flying by. Very sad. Yep, yeah, UP4014. Okay, let's see, is that my auto autopilot? Yeah, it's my autopilot. No, let's try cruise control. Your weekend starts now. Wait, you have a weekend, Wolf? Is that allowed? Hope, hopefully, they'll just store that steam train till next year. Maybe give us a really nice run with the restored, with both restored steam trains. That would be perfect. Chevy rules. How's it going? I wonder how long we're going to be running the nice wide open interstate before we're going to get shunted down some side road with some looky-loo driving at 20 miles under the speed limit staring at cactus. <laughs> ah, yes. Back oh, back Thursday, so you're two days off. Oh, okay. It's your birthday. Well, happy burp day to you, too. To you. Not to you, too. But to you. We'll go with that. You're one year older. There's, there's other lines that go with that, but <clears throat> they're not positive, so we're not going to say them. <laughs> uh... Got the rail figure in Cheyenne and the bridge exit by the exit of the arc. Actually, what I do is I go to the um, Union Station there, and they have a little tower at the museum. You have to pay to go in the museum, but it's a train museum. So I pay, and then I just go to the tower, and then you can sit up in the tower and just watch. Okay, we are now shunted onto a side yard where now we're going to be stuck behind Mildred and Vernal as they're driving along. Chevy, thanks for the follow. Um, Mildred and Vernal here in their Vernal? That's a town. Vernon? Vernon? Vernie? Vern? Vern? Whatever. <laughs> I say that but they take off and leave me sitting. You turn 21. 21. You could use your name as a blackjack card and win. Your name, your age. Good grief. Anyone who's just come in, I spent almost four hours today training a client and talked for four straight hours. So, yeah, words are optional at this stage. I think that was a 50 mile an hour sign I just flew past. Since Italy's counts are going to horseshoe curve to rail fan. Ah, excellent. Yeah, horseshoe curve is pretty crazy. I can only watch diesels so long. We have a we have a short line right behind our place. So every day I get to watch the uh the old GE diesels go by. Like old, they need a fresh coat of paint sometime. <laughs> One of them has such a patina of rust if they probably if they hit it with a uh, angle grinder it would probably fall apart uh, wolfman has run off to get a drink probably one of his ales all right where where are we going to get price we're going to price brew what's up thanks for the raid how's it going Uh, what railroad? Um, eh, that's a good question. What are they called? Great Western. There we go. Great Western. What's up, Redneck Ram? 
here's the riffraff. <laughs> uh, Brew and Wolf are gonna go at it in the com in the chat. Awesome. Everyone gather around and egg them on. I'm kidding. Don't. <laughs> Brew Wolf did say he came here to watch how to properly drive a truck and trailer. So we at least know he, he admits his, his deficiencies. On the bright side, I don't have potholes or people trying to show me pictures of cats. But, you know, that's why I don't drive a bus. I think, I think that uh, Wolfman, when he gets back from his little little weekend, needs to stream cons constantly until he's driving a bendy bus in his bus simulator. Just saying, bendy bus hype. Yes, Essex. Hope you uh, hope you get back to work soon, even if you ran over your toe with a trolley. <laughs> hey, Victoria, I figured you were hiding somewhere. <laughs> Last day of school. Sweet. I figured, Victoria. We were talking about you earlier. Because you didn't, you or Mikey didn't pop up, I knew you were off in somebody else's stream. <laughs> the air was blue in the car park. I bet if I ran over my toe with a trolley... I mean, I told you how to fix that, which is keep your feet off of the trolley rails. <laughs> Pull in for another vehicle inspection. Aww. Fine. You know what? They, they're just jealous. Whoa. <laughs> okay, back up a little bit. There we go. See, what it is is they're pulling over because they want to inspect us because they're so totally stoked about our paint job, which we got just for brew because it's got horses. Look at our beautiful, beautiful reefer. That's the way to roll. And there's a train, I can hear it. Wow, how about that? Speaking of trains, must be down there. Huh. <laughs> I figured you'd love the, the paint job, Brew. I know how much you, you miss hanging out with horses and letting them lick you with their weird tongues. If you do, that's weird, but whatever. Spoke to one of the other drivers. You're the only one on furlough. Maybe they're trying to tell you something, Sussex. They're like, don't get Sussex back. Dangling bait to test lurkiness. That's right, Victoria. That's right. That's how we roll around here. Our animal print pants are out of control. Oh, look at this traffic. Oh, you snake in the grass. You Mikey. <laughs> uh... I'm capable of probating alone. Well, yeah, I practice a lot. You live the furthest Well, I mean, that could be why, but I, you know, it could just be that they're like, maybe he'll get the message. He smells like cheese. The bad cheese. The stinky kind. One of your dreams is to see the big boy. Ah, yes. Did I just drive past my turn? No, I didn't. Okay, good. Yeah, getting up close on one of those. You want to drive a trains? I mean, I'm working on my I'm working on my HO scale setup. Now that I built the tables, I had to do that first. 
mind you, the controller for my HO scale set is um, uh, circa 1950s, so I'm probably going to have to replace it because, yeah, Arky Sparky. Um, oh, I don't want to take this exit. Sorry, car. Man, what is it with these roads today? First we had to run a red light because of a road, and then we had to, to have another incident because of a road. You'd think, ro whoa. Oh, we've discovered price by just passing price. Okay, whatever. All right, where are you on it? With our beautiful horsey trailer. It's very neighborly. <laughs> where, where do you want it? You want it, you you sons of guns. All right, fine, fine. We're going to do it because we are elite. Not really, but whatever. What? With all the Kenworth stuff here. Good grief. I don't need the front of my truck. <laughs> I'm just going to scrape it off. I don't want to hit that other trailer. Actually, I do kind of want to hit that other trailer because it's a cheap, chintzy trailer. But I don't want to mess up my nice, beautiful trailer. Okay, that's like how you mess up your nice, beautiful trailer right there. There we go. I'm going to get it back far enough so that I can get the swing that I want and then chase it not quite where I want it I can say to the wet horse joke is over <laughs> yeah that one was a that one uh, I had a real long face on my when I said that one Don't make me pull out the great, the great web page of terrible horse jokes. Engine off and unload. And, oh, we didn't upgrade our thing. I right, yeah, or I actually got that thing parked. I'm kind of actually shocked. Um, Let's see if we can grab another job out of here. Empty pallets to Corville. Really 35 grand and running all, I wouldn't even do, like, just at that point, break them down and burn them. Used packaging, Moab, Ogden, Moab. Really everything's going to Moab and Ogden and it's all used packaging. Uh. <sighs> uh, no. Okay. I don't care enough about that then. We're going to see here. <laughs> oh, Rusher. Horses have six legs, two legs in the back, and four legs at the front, making six. Wah, wah, wah. Flower to Omac. Eh. It's not a long, that's, that's a terribly long drive. We need to get to Salina, so we're gonna have to go to the end here. Moab, Moab, Moab. Moab, Moab, Salt Lake, Ogden. Page, Logan, Ogden. Good grief, there's nothing to Salina. All right, do we have anything to St. George or Cedar City? I'm thinking no. Uh, destination. St. George would be over here in the S's. Another in the St. George. And what was the other one we were looking at? Cedar City. Uh, no, nothing to Cedar City either. Huh. Well. Oh, I'm glad to see the horse jokes are being reined in for a bit. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
Uh, let's see here. Let's just take straight freight market then and see what we can... No, not straight freight, straight cargo. Oh, wait. Is it because we, we chose incorrectly and we should have chosen this? Probably. Uh, show low. No, cargo market. Okay, I'm very, very confused some days, <laughs> most days. Uh, still nothing for St. George, and I bet you there's nothing for Cedar City either. Okay, we're in the sticks of nowhere, I guess. I really... There was a run back to Salt Lake. We're going, we're going to take the Salt Lake run. We might as well just get... At that point, we're taking the one that's sitting right here at the lot where we are at. Resisting temptation. <laughs> uh, don't. Just go with it. Just, just feel the herd. <laughs> Where'd all the other trailers go? Huh. They buggered off with all the other trailers, and you're going to literally make me move my truck from one spot to another. You are a bunch of lazy loaders. Bunch of lazy loaders. I know that if I if if Big Trucker was here, he'd uh he'd be like, oh my gosh, you drive so badly. No, he wouldn't. He. But he probably cringes every time he watches me try to reverse. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Brakes on. Load her up. What in the world did you... Brew? Be nice. <laughs> it's way past your my bedtime. <laughs> oh, they get worse. Uh, I love it. Alright, let's roll on out of here. Wait. Did I not load up? Oh man, I didn't load up. I thought I loaded. Er, you know what? Just enter so that I load, for goodness sakes. Thank you. I know I stopped and I swear I pressed the load button. <laughs> Uh, I wonder who, Wolfman. Oh, Big Trucker, how's it going? <laughs> yeah. I know you're cringing. As I try to reverse terribly. With my little dinky 48 foot load. <laughs> oh my goodness. Chat has gone to the horses. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of a good joke that involves that. Get your filly of horse jokes. <laughs> want to stir up trouble oh you're pulling oh look at that poor bus oh look there's wolf he wrecked his bus see that's the wolf should have agreed to the 20 to the extended stream bendy bus hype 2020 <laughs> chat stampeding with puns thanks Doss. that was necessary <laughs> Sim 20, not this year. Uh, oh, it is a spur of the moment decision. Brew has probably run away and hid himself far away from the horse jokes. The 
Indy Bess on Sunday. Oh. All right, you heard it here first. He's going to play until he can give us a bendy bus on Sunday. <laughs> At least the game is very stable. Don't you dare, you stinky little Jeep driver. <laughs> Prude doesn't run... You don't run away from... You didn't run away from me. You actually took a train to come and meet me. Oh. Alright, so our goal is to get back to Salt Lake, and then we'll see how much time we got left, and how my, um, my own f feed bag tank is. <laughs> see if I can strap on the feed bag. And uh, then we'll decide if we can make a run down the Cedar... No, not Cedar City. Oh, man, where are we going? Salina. Oh, my goodness. If Dare keeps up these streams, it won't be long before I am affiliated. Uh, ha, ha. <laughs> uh... And then I'll have a cult following. Ooh, truck stop food. No, truck stop food. Actually, it depends on the truck stop. I've heard that Johnson's Corner has good food, but they're closed right now, I think. Except for the truckers. There was a um, there was a guy out in Grand Junction, Grand Junction, who uh, he is an ex-trucker, and him and his wife had opened up a restaurant, and then this pandemic hit, and of course you know everything closes down, and truckers are having trouble finding food, so they took their food truck and they went out to the truck stop out there, and they just gave away the food that you know they'd ordered a bunch of food for the restaurant that was going to go bad if they didn't use it so they just gave away the food but then the truckers were donating money to them you know just giving them money like thanks so much so they just kept going and they they ran their food truck for i think it's probably still running i could go look on the news but i thought it was pretty cool I think if Dare gets affiliated, he needs to do a Construction Sim 2015 stream. Hmm. I don't know about that. A truck construct. Con, I'm assuming you meant construction, not conduction, but um. It would need more diggers. Maybe. I don't know. I'm sure I could find something else that's a lot more interesting. Lumberjack the Musical! Oh! Hold on. There was a joke there. Only at... Oh. There wasn't a joke there. It's only at lamps. I thought it said something about stumps. Brew, I'll play Barbie on stream for two hours, but you have to play Barbie on stream for eight. <laughs> uh, more amps. <laughs> no, I don't... I... Uh, I mean, Construction Sim was fun, don't get me wrong. But I've got 800 games in my library. At some point, I need to play some of the others. We do need a new one. And not the weird tablet port they're doing. Oh, Victoria, I like the way you think there.
We could do six hours of Barbie, and then Brew has to do 24 hours of Barbie. Hmm. Brew, Brew is now just given up and run away. <laughs> Brew pony up. Oh, we're back to the horses again. Why you, Brew? Because you already own the game. <laughs> That's why. I mean, I can't buy it for Wolf because I don't think it runs on the, the PlayStation. Uh, if I could find weird, wonderful, kooky games on PlayStation and ship them to Wolf, I would. <laughs> But strangely, PlayStation curates their games a heck of a lot better than Steam. I wonder why. <laughs> because they've heard of me. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Be careful or you'll find attack helicopter dating simulator in your Steam library. Oh, is there, Wolf? Well, thank you for telling me. I'll have to have a look through and see. If it's garbage, I can I can seuss it out. Gal gun double piece. Quite weird. Ah, okay. <laughs> Good job, Brew. Get get a jump start on getting Wolf a few games he needs to play. can only stream down the well that's not a problem I'm sure we can find plenty I just realized we're okay we still have more than half a tank all right we're, we're less than half a tank but more than a quarter tank Blech. we're good party flavor lays ew Gun Wolf, what's its game? Oh, you mean with the President of the United States? PC is the re-release, the original Xbox, but only if you have the Japanese mod. If you've if you've unlocked the Xbox to allow it to play Japanese games. But I should I have that on my Steam wish list. I should pick that up when I've played my minimum number of games required to get 50% of my games at least some measure played. What is that game? Metal Wolf Chaos. There we go. Metal Wolf Chaos. With the President of the United States driving a mech. And everything is over the top. Devolver Digital re-released it. In fact, they re-released it last year, if I remember correctly. They announced it at E3 last year and then released it. Oh my gosh, a game that was announced and released. We're going to take 5600 West, I think. Reno? I see no reason to go there. <laughs> see what I did there? No? Okay, that's good. Did I ever get what? Auto something? Probably not. I haven't bought a game unless it was in the um, <clears throat> Humble Bundles in quite a while. Eh, except for Farming Simulator 19, which I bought just to show up randomly on streams. Well, the thing with Metal Wolf Chaos DOS is it's not a bad game. What Brew's looking for for Wolf is a bad game. <laughs> I 
Auto my chef. Is that a game? What? Is it on Steam? Is it a simulator? Is it good? Is it terrible? Does it involve cooking fish on a walk? Most of the bad games are free. Well, uh, you know, there's there's method to that madness. Ah, oh, this is where I uh, first delivered into Salt Lake with my triples out of uh, Vernal, Utah. Vernal, Utah? Crazy little town, wasn't it, Doss? <laughs> Puzzle Kitchen Automation. Ah. All over the... Yes, the new, mark, the new flight sim. Yep. I will definitely be on that. Of course, it's probably going to have some gotcha on it. That's going to annoy me, but... We'll see. We'll see. Brew has gone very quiet. Well, you know, that happens when you're searching for the bad games. Uh, E. Okay, now, unload trailer. Enter. Synchronizing. There we go. <laughs> you did find a Terminator voice for GPS. Hmm. Oh, goodness, Brew, what is that? All right, let's see if there's anything to get us. My name is Mayo. Is your name Mayo? I had no idea. <laughs> All right, I want to get to St. George. Seriously? So the... All right, here. We're trying to get to St. George. Guys, we're not getting to St. George. No, Salina. Where are we trying to get to? Good Lord, Salina. But we could get there by going to St. George. Right. <laughs> 80 megabytes. Oh, wait, there's St. George. We can take a load of tires to St. George. Okay. I think we'll take the loaded tires of St. George, swing through Salina. Hmm. Okay, My Name is Mayo is a clicking adventure that simulates the real life tapping of a mayo jar. Oh, touching story about a mayo jar. Okay, 50 rewards. There we go. Victoria, have a good nap. Um, I mean, you're not wrong there, Brew. That would be the kind of game. Uh, yeah, that would be the kind of game I would get you if it was on PC. So, fair play. Wolfman can, can try to weasel his way out of that. We're going to take this load to... Uh, Wherever we're going. <laughs> I've lost a plot. And it'll probably be our last run tonight. This afternoon. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, the Doug Demir. Wait. That run will drop off at the Doug Demir car lot Easter egg? Okay. Well... Let's go get ourselves an Easter egg, or an egg of Easter. Mmm, eggs. Easter eggs, Cadbury bunny eggs. <laughs> oh, Wolf is talking the big game now. No fear. Yeah, that's the way to do it, I guess. Oh, the car YouTuber. Oh, I know nothing of such things. It's the middle of the night. There's nobody in the road. Good. <gasps> Don't hit the stop sign. Don't scratch the horses. Damage other things. Don't scratch the horses. Hey, firefighters. How's it going? 
Uh, not there. Go in here. Oh, okay. Uh, we will have to look for such a person. Oh, look! Want a Fanta? Fanta Fanta. I almost want to get one of those suits for DOS. Um, alright, let's, uh, let's concentrate on what we're doing. Um, okay, now, now I sort of regret the 48-foot trailer. Probably should have gone with a 45-footer, but... You know what I was, I was just thinking as I was pulling in, what they should, what they should have done is allowed you, if you were running like a 53 foot trailer, or even a 48 foot trailer, you could fit the load of a couple of those little small trailers onto this big trailer. They should have allowed me to pick up a couple of loads instead of just one, since I've got the length in the, in the, uh, in the trailer. Like they come in your size. That's true. They, they don't make them in child sizes. You have to shop the midget aisle. <laughs> uh. Are you saying it's not streamable? Why isn't it streamable, Wolf? Oh, uh. stop! Brakes. There. Load our trailer. And will you sleep while they load? Or we don't, because why would we sleep while we load? Alright, fine. The, um... Oh, you can't stream PS... Okay, well, that makes sense. Oh, speaking of really old games, and it's probably not streamable for <laughs> many reasons... But I picked up for my Xbox One, Shaq Fu, the re-release. If nobody knows how bad the original Shaq Fu was, <laughs> I believe it's still in running as one of the worst games ever. Yeah, I think Doss would look good in the yellow one if it came in her size. She doesn't. There's a rental service, rent a certain amount of PS3 games. Uh, we don't want Wolf to have to spend money. The, the whole idea is that, you know, it's either free or we gift it to him or send him enough bits so that he basically gets it for free. That's the, that's what makes it fun. Oh, that's right, we do have the original Shaq Fu. That's right. <clears throat> That's on the um, Retron. See, we we go way back here, man. We got a Retron, so we can run some old Nintendo games. That's right. Makes you confirm the startup because the game is so bad. <laughs> Try to find a copy of ET to stream. <laughs> Uh, we could we could try to do bad game week. Uh, oh, you found a copy of what? UK Truck Simulator. Oh my goodness! I'm guessing that was not an SCS game, or if it was, it was their early stuff. Oh, it was SCS. Oh, early. Okay. I mean, they've been around a lot longer than most people think. Most people only think of them as ETS2 and ATS. Diesel, sorry, I didn't even see that you followed me because my weird activity feed thing. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. ETS2 still used the map for that. You know, that makes sense, though, because didn't they do German Truck Simulator, and that's the basis of the Germany part of ETS2? So 
So, you know, what I really want is I really, really want to see somebody like, oh, apparently our driver is tired, somebody like um, Stocko or, or Wolfman, if he ever got a um, computer, playing Scania Truck Driving Simulator. Stocko or Wolfman, or, well, I was going to say Brew, but no, it doesn't get high enough speed, you won't wreck. <laughs> I think you're right, Ollie. I think they're in the pro they're very much in the process of refreshing a lot of a lot of maps. I mean they're doing they're redoing Vegas in ATS and it's not even that bad. I mean other than the fact that Vegas is nothing but a pile of vagrants running amok. Alright, we don't want to go to um twenty ten. Huh. Not as old as I thought. <laughs> we don't want to go to Ogden, so we have to go down and underneath. And we do not want to be in the exit lane. That's for sure. It's one nice thing about SCS is they're always, they're working hard to keep their games fresh. Unlike certain companies that are just working hard to bilk people like, I don't know, Rockstar. where the, at least the last time I played GTA 5, the first person mirrors in the cars still don't work for diddly. Oh, there's the party flavor lays again. Oh, what's going on over here? What's going on over here? Oh, it's a diner. I thought it was like flashing lights. Diner? Hmm. Oh, Destiny. Yes, King Jamie, you are correct. <laughs> Wolfman. <laughs> yeah, get you started in Rockstar. <laughs> yeah, Destiny is a hot mess. DTG. Oh, Dev Dovetail. Yeah, they got this one game, and it's a one-trick pony for them, isn't it? <laughs> Destiny 1 beats, but I haven't picked up either one of them. I just... I just can't. I'm not a big shooter MMO person. I mean, I'm sort of a spaz when it comes to shooting games if I'm using a controller. I think we're going to get in trouble here for uh, driving while tired, but I don't see a spot to go to sleep. <clears throat> Anything but shooters? I don't blame you, Wolf. I mean, I, I, I'll play them on the PC. I think I've got a I've got a couple of them, like Alien, Rage, Carnage or something, and I play it for about 10 minutes, get angry at it, and do something else. <clears throat> I'm getting tired. Nah, joke. <laughs> I used to think, naively, oh, we could have taken that exit and gone to sleep. Dad, Kermit, Kermit. Um, I used to think naively that while you were loading, your truck up, you could sleep in the cab. But then, I watched a YouTuber who does trucking up in uh, uh, Canada, and he he's like, "Yep, got it. You're constantly awake because you're uh, you're trying to load and tie." Of course, he has a flatbed, but he he's like, "I got to be ready for them when they load it, so I can tie down, so I never really get any sleep." It's like, oh, now I understand. <laughs> Down five cop, these four or five hour energies, crank the tunes in the AC, no thank you. Big shooter player in your early 20s, ah. 
Yeah, I think everyone went through that phase. I like went through the Grand Theft Auto phase. But now I'm just like, it's not fun. Especially because I think there's a train down there. I, I think as you get older, you start thinking of all the logic holes and the plot loop, the plot holes. And you're just like, no, thank you. Bus driver by SC. Oh, I saw that. I saw that and I thought about it or something. I don't know. There's some reason I didn't end up with it. <clears throat> You know what? I just realized something, guys. We're we're cruising. We got to make sure. Okay, next exit we're gonna take. We're gonna rest, and then we're gonna swing through Salina to continue our trek. Okay, good. You know, mixed reviews, Wolf, mixed reviews are the games that I'm always like, I'm going to give them a shot when they're on discount, because sometimes the people have a legit complaint, but then there's more of the, the, I call them the uh, moaning snowflakes. Oh yeah, Scania was SCS. Nice game. I did enjoy it. I played it on the YouTube channel. I especially like the um, <clears throat> the mixed reviews where someone's like, the graphics are terrible. It's a cell shaded hand drawn game. You get. <laughs> We're gonna go over cattle crates. Bumpy 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 bump. Bumpy 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 bump. Okay, where is the? Oh, we've discovered Salina by pulling in here. Sweet. Bonus to us. Game Gear version of Micro Machines. Good grief. I used to have a ton of Micro Machines. Even had a little like helicopter or carrier or something for them. Turn the engine off. Why? I'm not parked properly. Game. I mean, not like I'm going to be parked properly now, but I would be parked more properly than I was. <laughs> Train Sim World lacked action. Yeah, yeah, that's, um, yeah, there's some uh, very bright individuals out there. They fall in my uh, special little snowflake category. Eighteen wheels of steel. Oh, is that why you want, was it you that wanted me to do eighteen wheels of steel and I really made a hash of it on uh, YouTube? <laughs> <gasps> oh my goodness. Seven up spot. Hey! Wolf, flip me over! Crazy bus driver. Seven up spot and it's game. Uh yeah. Dating yourself there, BT. It's ya boy! How's it going? King Jamie, thank you for following me. Eight minutes ago, sorry about that. <laughs> Stop cutting me up. <laughs> oh god! Traffic problems! Woo! -hoo, yeah! Paying attention! Aw oh, man! Wolf held off the back of my truck so I couldn't like cut over and make him crash. All right, Brew. Have a good night. Uh, are you streaming tomorrow? If so, just let chat know what time you're streaming. 9 p.m. That would be British summertime, which is 
in American. <laughs> Because I know, Wolf, you're off tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's Wednesday. That's my day off, too. So we got Brew. Ah, thank you, Wolf. 4 p -E -S -T, 9 p.m. BST, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. E, S, T, F, T, W. O, M, G. Or OMC, if you prefer. Oh my cat. <laughs> Sounds like a double team. <laughs> maybe. I've got late meetings on Wednesdays, so maybe not for me. I'm driving like a... Like a person reading chat. <laughs> this is what I'm doing. Uh... Brew, maybe sometime we can uh, we can uh, get a chance to fix my stream laps because I've given up and I'm back to just OBS without stream laps. <laughs> Have a good sleep, dude. We are 101 miles to where are we going? <sighs> Does anyone remember where we're going? Because I sure don't. Oh my goodness, Simpsons Cupcake Caper. What are you doing, BT? Digging up the weirdest and oldest games out there? <laughs> St. George, thank you, Redneck Ram. At least someone knows where we're going. I'm just following the, the little red line on my getting people lost, getting people stuck device. Good lord. Oh, we should have fueled up while we were there. Good grief. Eh, we should be able to fuel up in St. George. Oh my goodness, Lemmings. I didn't play Lemmings very much. Now the games I played... King's Quest, Quest for Glory... Car, I got my blinker on, bugger off <laughs> so King's Quest Quest for Glory I never really played Police Quest much um, uh, Xyle Text Adventure Load Runner Pit Stop I think was the name of the game it was a really 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 weird uh, racing game. I could make it like one lap around before I crashed. So, I mean, to be fair, games back then were brutal. So, Rainbow Island. <laughs> Root Beer Fit. Thank you for following. Test Drive to the Duel. Oh, yeah. Um, Double Dragon. I had some Double Dragon. That was that was good. Whoa! What is that? Oh, there's a crash next to us. Hey, ambulance! There's a crash right next to us. Hey, ambulance! There's a crash right next to us. Oi, Gromit! All right, fine. Wasn't our fault that the crash happened. It happened in front of us. Woohoo! Caveman Olympics. Oh my goodness, super hang on. <laughs> oh, what else did I have? Oh, well, Duck Hunt, because you couldn't have a Sega Master System without Duck Hunt. <laughs> the ambulance, yeah, exactly. The ambulance is like, dude, I am on break. I need coffee and a Whopper stat. Oh, here comes Doss with her old school Nintendo stuff. Altered Beast. 
Oh, what was the um? Oh, it was just rampage, right? Where you you were the monster, and then when you got killed, you were the naked person inching off the screen. I used to play an absolute ton of rampage at the Pizza Hut that I'd go to because we would get certificates for free personal pizzas for reading X number of books and I used to read books all the time so I'd get all Wolf what are you doing on the side of the road come on man why not drive um, and then so I just dump quarters into Rampage paper boy leisure <laughs> leisure shoot the leisure suit Larry I can't say that fast triple L we'll, we'll go no LSL there we go yes I never really played those very much, but eh, they were still good games. You can get them on Steam now. Oh, Doom. Yes, Doom is the game that introduced me to modding, because you could get maps and mods even back then, um, on like, you, you get a friend who would do a map, and then they'd give you a give it to you on a three and a half inch floppy you put that in you get yourself a an awesome map <laughs> rather than the pups <laughs> and then and I am playing the, the Gen 2 of this game, because I can't find the original, because it's been taken down, and I can't find it. But on Thursday, for Throwback Thursday, I am playing one of the games that introduced me to management games. Um, I'm playing Railroad Tycoon 2, only because I can't find the original Railroad Tycoon, which is the better game. But I'm going to be playing Railroad Tycoon 2, because that game, Railroad Tycoon introduced me to stock market manipulation, robber baroning, um, cutthroat competitions, boxing in your opponents with your track so they couldn't get away from you. Oh, Oregon Trail. Oh, I've got Oregon Trail on a handheld now. <laughs> it's a little handheld just for Oregon Trail. It's amazing. And you always have to have, you always have to have the one member of your party named Terry, so you can die of dysentery. You can thank DOS for that one. <laughs> Desert Strike. Uh. <laughs> oh, I, I, be, I would grab as much stock as I could of my competitor like there's games I had I distinctly remember I kept competitors alive just for a minute of silence <laughs> um, I would keep competitors alive just so I couldn't win the game but I'd basically keep them so they couldn't do more than go to two places ever it was amazing <laughs> Uh, they are on Steam. Yeah, you know what? I don't... I've got them on Steam. They don't run very well on Steam. Get them off GOG. 100% better. Because just the way GOG distributes. It's just a better mechanism for those old games. One day I'll get my steering wheel fixed in this truck. Or not. Your really old text-based game was D&D. &D. Uh, okay. If I could... Oh, there was a game that I played. Um, okay, so there's Demiro's Cars. Is that where we're going? Apparently it is. Are we looking for somebody? What are we doing? We're looking for a cutout. Oh, look, there's this person. Is that them? Are you the person? Cool, you're selling a bunch of Ford Ranger Raptor or Ford Raptors. You you're dead to me. There's a um there's a game that I played in 
elementary school on the Apple IIe. Uh huh. Yep. And um, you were a, a fish, and you had to get. You were a salmon, actually, because I lived in the Pacific Northwest, so everything was about salmon. Um, you were a salmon. You had to get as a baby salmon to the sea without getting eaten, and then you had to get back going up the dams and everything it was it was i distinctly remember it i remember having to avoid the offspray ospreys and hawks that's as much as i remember of that game but you know whatever Urch. all right you remember the fish game do you remember what it was called? Because I can't even remember what it was called. <laughs> hey, we made it! Why does the fish game... Everyone's suddenly like, the fish game? I remember the fish game! <laughs> oh, hey, we leveled up to our last level we need. Oh, yay. You to come up worms and some head hooks. I don't remember that part. I just remember the bird trying to get me every time. Stupid bird! Alright, my... I think... I think the feed bag is ready upstairs. I don't know, Doss will tell me in the chat for sure, but I think the feed bag's ready. Um, so... I just have a need for salmon now. Right? Grilled salmon with a little bit of, like, lime over it uh, with a mango chutney and maybe a side of, like, balsamic... Uh, rice. Uh, Sarmian to to Rommel. Good grief. Thank you for the follow three minutes ago. I was too busy talking about weird old games to remember <laughs> to look up at the activity feed. Ah, dinner is ready. Excellent. Yeah, I, like now I'm wishing for salmon, but I know we have no salmon upstairs and that's sad. <laughs> All right, so tomorrow I am off. Wolf is off tomorrow, too. So Brew is streaming tomorrow, and I'm going to see if this, this silly... Oh, good grief. I have to Alt-Tab, apparently. There we go. Uh, uh, yeah, X. Nope, I can't even type, type his name properly. So <laughs> um, check out Brew tomorrow. I don't know what he's streaming. I'm betting it's farming. And I'll be back on Thursday at 4 p.m. Mountain, whatever that is in your time zone. Um, and we're going to be playing Railroad Tycoon 2. And uh, I'm getting potatoes for dinner, which is going to be a big letdown after talking about the salmon with mango chutney. Okay, enough of that. Uh, y'all take care. Be safe. Thank you all for showing up. And we'll see you again on Thursday for Railroad Tycoon 2. Bye.